Hey Cavs, glad you're here. I'm going to share with you Jasper Active PowerPoint Lesson 1, Modifying Presentation Properties and Viewing Presentations Now. So to begin with, I'm going to click the Learn button for Modifying pre Presentation Properties. As Jasper Active loads up, I will resize the window so you can see it better and then read the directions. It says, click the File tab in the Info category, View Properties on the right. So File, Info, and notice my properties are listed on the right. Now, click in the title box and change it to My First Presentation. Notice I capitalized and spelled it exactly as they did in the directions. Step three says, click the tags and add a tag that says PowerPoint, capital P's, comma, 2016, comma, presentation, comma, introduction to PowerPoint with capital P's. Well, I type each of these things with the common space between them. So if somebody searches for them, they'll find those keywords in their search. What happened? I think I just accidentally deleted it. I better do it again. I imagine that's never happened to you, but every once in a while, I do something silly like that. All right. Now, to show all the properties, I'm going to click the drop-down menu. Oops. Oh, I'm going to scroll here. And down below, it says, Show All Properties. Make sure you get that one. Show All Properties. Notice, a bunch more things are listed here that we couldn't see before. There's another one that I went to first. It's called Advanced Properties. So if I do the drop down menu here next to Properties, I can say Show Me Advanced Properties. It brings up a dialog box that shows me uh, different things. They say select each of the different tabs here to view the properties. Notice the things we typed in are showing. You can find out word count, slides, etc., contents, custom, general. I'm just clicking to go through each tabs. I did look here at the size of the presentation because sometimes when these get too big, PowerPoints are hard to load. They take a long time. This one's really small. Here we go. OK. I'm going to verify. It says cancel, close the dialog box. So now I'm going to submit and let Jasper Active grade my work. 100%. Moving on to the next one. We're going to wrap up lesson one in PowerPoint with viewing presentations. Hey, look, I'll resize my window so you can see it better. All right. First, with their Welcome to PowerPoint presentation, they want you to change the view. So to do that, I go up to the View tab. And I change to the View tab. Notice over here in the Presentation Views group, I can click Outline View. And here it shows me instead of a picture or thumbnail in the navigation pane, it gives me all the information that's typed into the PowerPoint. Now I'm going to change the view. So there's a couple ways to do it. I can use the Slide Sorter View button right here, or there's another one down here in the uh, bottom of the page, and if I do that little four square, that's slide sorter view. Directions say to use this one, so I'm going to use this one now and change it to slide sorter view. Notice I'm zoomed at 100% for the slides. I'm going to change that to 50, and if you can't hit 50 exactly, get close. And if you use the minus sign, that takes you to the closest lower whole number. If you use the plus sign, it takes you to the closest higher whole number. So there's exactly 
Notice on the View tab, we can also change the color, and I'm going to change it to grayscale. That's what it would look like if you printed it out on a black and white printer. Now I'm going to click the Back to Color View button. And the last step, change the view. Click the View tab again, and on the View tab, you're going to select Notes Page. This is what it would look like if you printed it out as a notes page where you get a big picture of the slide and then a notes box below. Now go back to normal view. So on the view tab, I clicked normal. Now they say go to slide three. On the status bar, click the slideshow button. So down here on the status bar, notice I can click the button. It's like a little movie screen. And when I click this button, it should start the slideshow on slide three. I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of there. And return to normal view if you're not already there. That completes it. Let's submit it. Let Jasper Active grade our work. I'm crossing my fingers. Yes, 100%. That completes the third and final video. Notice I just earned a badge for completing all of lesson one at 100%. And a go-getter because I tried hard and didn't give up. My badges and achievements are showing here. My percentage is showing right here. So Mr. Jez is going to enter the score for me for lesson one as a 10 out of 10. If I had 85% right here and it's graded, I would grade it an 8.5 out of 10. So thank you for watching and I hope you have been very successful with your work.